Hello, 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 Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is timeless. So whenever you get this message, it is meant for you to receive in this appointed time. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive, empathic neighborhood tarot reader. Uh, because I read intuitively, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You will see me doing something different if you've been around for a while now. Um, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Divine Spirit, what is Capricorn's overall energy? Do tell. What is Capricorn's overall energy? Just one, please. Yes, thank you. Your overall energy, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. This, you have the star. So you have um, Aquarius energy showing up in your reading, Capricorn. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Cross Watchers are welcome. But there could be some Aquarius energy somewhere in your birth chart, Capricorn. So with this as your overall energy, the star card, this you are really hopeful about something in your life at this time. You are holding on to hope. You are your belief has increased, is what I'm feeling for someone out there, Capricorn. Your belief has increased. Okay. And you are staying mindful. You are staying hopeful, is what I'm getting. For some Capricorns right now. Mm -hmm. One more Divine Spirit. One more please. For Capricorn. Okay, thank you. That totally popped out. Awesome. Alright, so again, you are just feeling hopeful. And you are you're believing. You're mindful. You're carrying a positive attitude wherever you go, Capricorn, with this star card, with this uh, Aquarius energy, right? And I love that. You're being hopeful about what's next for you, uh, what the future holds. So let's take a look at the first card out. This is the earth element I'm reading for when this in this first position. So this is your finances, your home, your career, Capricorn. Okay, so we have the page of cups. Excuse me. We have the Page of Cups coming out in the area of finance, home, or career. So with this Page of Cups showing up in this area for you, Capricorn, this your creativity is increasing your hope. You're on a new project. You're, you're, you're creating something new to put out into the world. I feel like people are going to know your name. For someone out there, Capricorn, it feels like you may even be um, getting ready or deciding, planning to start your own YouTube channel. This is not for everyone, but someone specific, this came to me immediately, YouTube. So for some Capricorn, it feels like you're planning to start your own YouTube channel. And with this coming up in the area of finances, home, or career, this this create the creativity is popping out. It's coming up really strong for me, and that's that's where the YouTube is coming from, Capricorn. Okay, the creativity. You are hopeful about what you have to offer the world with your new endeavor, with the creative juices you have, right? So I feel like that's very important. Um, it feels like you're also following your intuition, the way, and because I feel like this is going to be a career for someone, Capricorn. This YouTube is a career for someone. That's what I'm feeling. As far as finances, there is something that's not just YouTube for Capricorns. You're going to be able to create something that generates income for you, whether this is going to be your sole income or an extra stream of income for some Capricorns that is also taking place. Then in the area of the air element, this is dealing with your thoughts and communications. And with the two of wands coming up for thoughts and communications in this reading for you, Capricorn, this I feel that this is definitely you have been again in this planning. You've been diligently planning your thoughts out. You're diligently 
um, preparing for this new creative venture with this page of cups, Capricorn, and you will, you're, you're hopeful that you're going in the right direction. And I feel like you are with this reading happening at this time with all the creativity that is coming and the planning that you're doing, the preparation uh, that you're doing, you're discovering your creative juices are flowing deeper than you realized, right? With this two of wands, there is success here for you. Capricorn, there is success in whatever creative venture you take on. I'm definitely feeling that with the star card as your overall energy. Next, we have the fire element. And with this, this is your actions and efforts. And it's so fitting that this card is movement. This is action right here. So we have the page of wands coming up in this area for the reading um, for you, Capricorn, for actions and efforts. So with this page this page of wands coming up for actions and efforts. This is your, you are diligently and curiously learning about how to execute your creative idea, how to get it out to the world. You are absolutely taking action. You're researching how to do X, Y, or Z. You're researching how to start your YouTube channel. You're researching how to create this uh, thing, this physical product you have. For the world, your services, your services. Also, you're doing, you're doing your research. You're learning. That's you're actually learning. You are not just thinking it's going to fall in your lap. You're doing your homework, Capricorn. That's what I feel. You are actionable. You are making an honest effort to do this in a way that is effective, efficient. And successful. That's what I'm feeling with this page of wands. Lastly, we have the six of cups coming up. Very interesting. Coming up in the water element, which deals with emotions and relationships. So with this six of cups, Capricorn, and the hopefulness with this star card, there's definitely a relationship that needs to be tended to is what I feel like. Capricorn, there's a relationship that needs to be tended to. What I'm feeling with this six, six of cups. And normally this, this six of cups is nostalgia. Something, someone from your past. Is it the past? I, I don't, I can't say, I don't feel for certain that it's someone from your past, but it is a relationship that does have meaning, meaning, and the past could be as far back as 10 years, three decades for all we know, but the past could also be a relationship that you just started a year ago. It's the near past, but it still is the past. So there, there's some tending, there's some nurturing that needs to happen with a relationship because we don't want this relationship to fall apart. With all the work that you do have in front of you, you want to be able to balance things out. You want to be able to, what is it? The work-life balance, Capricorn. So for some of you, don't get tunnel vision. You must be focused, but don't get tunnel vision to the point where you're leaving out people that you care about and who care about you. That's what I'm feeling, Capricorn, okay? I hope this has resonated with you. Uh, what doesn't, please leave for someone else. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, share with someone you care about, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.